Welcome back to This Week. Time now to get views of our media and political experts, Nashville Democratic State Senator Thelma Harper and syndicated conservative talk show host Steve Gill. Welcome. Another busy week, especially for you guys down on the Hill. Oh, yes. Beginning come, with, come and join us. Uh, <laughs> we, we try to get down there. Beginning with another push to permanently ban a state income tax in Tennessee. And I guess the real question is, is this needed? Is it a waste of time? Doesn't the Constitution already ban a state income tax? It is a waste of time, and it's one of those wedge issues, and it's an election issue. I think we should be focused on people in Tennessee who are suffering. There's no mention of it. We've put it to sleep. But I think it's, it gets television time. See, you all covered that. Bumgarner did an outstanding <laughs> job. He does an outstanding job down there. But that isn't what we need to be talking about. We need to talk about how we're going to t uh, feed Tennesseans, how Tennesseans are going to get jobs, and how we are going to move on with a greater effort to educate our children, take care of our senior citizens, what we're going to do about Clover Bottom, what we're going to do about our girls at, at New Vision. There's so many other things, but to pull that out, and you all waste all that good television time on, on whether or not there should be, there's not going to be. That's been proven. If anybody knows anything about how people do oppose an income tax, it's Steve. So <laughs> oh. I see, do, do, is this needed or is it already taken care of? I don't think it's needed. The Constitution is crystal clear. The Supreme Court of the state of Tennessee has ruled three times that Tennessee does not authorize a general income tax on wages. We have the Hall income tax on investments. But the, the Constitution is clear. The Supreme Court has ruled on it. The reason it's an issue is because during the push for the income tax, uh, some of the Democrats in the legislature, led by then House Speaker Jimmy Navy, mm -hmm. were saying that they could get the Supreme Court to overturn those previous rulings, and that's the fear that allows them to drive and come back then. How, he, you, you the know people something. that were pushing it are still there. Well, let, let me just tell you something. I think it's interesting when you introduce us. You introduce Thelma Harper, Democrat. I'm not ashamed of it. But he's conservative, but he never has anything decent to say about a Democrat. He always has to pull them out and pull them in. Now, I, I call Now, them, I would, I would I point out, by the way, they never not. identify you as liberal, no, well, <laughs> but they, they always call me conservative. But they don't have to. They know that if being liberal is feeding old people and children, then bury me liberal. But, but then why don't they identify but, you? Why do they always have to identify me as conservative? People figure it out about three seconds into my no, conversation. No, but, but, they know you, but the public knows you're not conservative. A couple more know. issues up there yes. this week. Did you won't like talking about, but the morality issues. Again, an attempt to stop alcohol sales after midnight and an attempt to ban commercials for Girls Gone Wild. Now, you tell me I, your, well, your I, view. Let, let me just tell you, for these are colleagues with whom I serve. But I <laughs> think there are more important things to do. You know, if you want to see girls gone wild, and it's not just girls, it's old men and old <laughs> women, go to Florida. You know, they're just naked down there. So what are, we, what are we complaining about? Leave those girls alone, and if you don't want them in your home, that, that's what the flicker is for. It, it just, it's unbelievable. And, and as far as alcohol, I think every merchant in this city, in this state, recognize when it's too much. We've, we've had lessons on training your, your employees on when you think someone has had enough to drink, stopping it off at 12 o'clock. It's television time. It's, it's an election year. And you can go back home and say, oh, I tried to stop liquor. I tried to stop wine. But they're trying to put it in the grocery stores, those very people who are talking, putting it in grocery stores. I think it's, it's a moot issue. Leave those businesses alone. If they violate the law, do what you do to violate it. But that's, that's not a real issue. Let those people run their businesses. Neither one of them ever been a business person. Election year politics or more to it? A lot of it's election year politics, and I'm an equal opportunity basher when it comes to Republicans <laughs> or Democrats doing stupid stuff. I mean, Don Sunquist during that whole income tax thing was a Republican, film, and I, oh, I kind of gave him the task. <laughs> but, look, but let me point out that on both, of these, tough, on, on both of these, they need to look at some of the ads that are airing during prime time that are at least as objectionable as the Girls Got Wild stuff, if you'll pay attention to the nuance. Unfortunately, that's part of free speech in a society where... As Thelma said, use the clicker. That's why we have 130-something channels on cable. There's always something else you can but watch. But let me tell you, let me defend Don Sunquist. You know, you have to give a dog his day. But <laughs> I Don didn't call him a dog. No, no but, but that's just a general term. That not he was a dog. Don Sunquist at least knew when he needed to make amends. Never shall forget, saw this man coming down the hall, didn't know who he was. He came to my office with a white flag, waving a white flag. And when I saw him, I just... I didn't reduce him to that level. He was waving a, a white flag. He said, we want to get along. So I think he made some mistakes, yes. I mean, some dumb stuff he did. He didn't ask advice first. But he was not the absolute worst thing that could have happened to him. You could talk to him. Controversial resolution of the, you talked about honoring Michael Jackson. It was defeated in the Senate. It passed in the House by one vote, so it's not going to happen in Tennessee. 
Well, you know, I'm glad God is a just God and he is the judge. And I think when, when you have a group of folk who think they're better than anybody else, all of those better than, some of them have had accusations made against them. And they have not exactly been exonerated. But they can so quickly vote against him. Yes, there were charges made against him. And the minute he paid those parents who willingly carried their children, the minute he paid them those millions of dollars, they withdrew the charges. It's saying that we respect what he did in life. You know, they, they rejected one on Timberlake. The little boy, he was just a, a young boy. Memphis. And young, Yes, and sometimes they make mistakes. And, and some of them, you all are not old enough to remember, they rejected one for Jocelyn Elders because she had the nerve to talk about sex publicly. Should we even go with it, these kind of resolutions? Look, if we're going to do them, we ought to look at the whole body of work as it, as it goes with these folks. And, you know, frankly, if, if people have passed on in particular, you're respecting their major contributions. Right. And Michael but, Jackson's the greatest pop star ever. That's right. And to say we're not going to honor him because he had some problems in his life, you know, again, let's go through the legislature and see who doesn't have any problems down that's, there. Well, you know, I, had, I wanted to do one for Steve McNair. You know, I, I'm a little jittery about that because the man gave... Yes, men misstep. We know that men are always getting into trouble. <laughs> and you go back to Adam. I when think he, we've been taking a shot at yeah, Usually they're doing it with a woman. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Listen, it was because Adam, Adam was dumb. He was too shiftless to get up and examine that apple. He just bit it because he had an attractive woman to give it to him. Nationally. <laughs> Nationally. President Obama. We're way off target. Yeah, we are. So we're trying to That's get it back right. in here. <laughs> went, went and met with Republicans this week trying to say, I want to have a summit. I want to get put it on TV, work out jobs, work out health care. Republicans said, finally, I think this is a good idea, but then kind of took shots at, at the proposal. Is this the way something can get accomplished for jobs, for health care? I think it's hard to say we want to have bipartisanship when your national counterterrorism uh, expert is going out on the same day saying that if you disagree with Mirandizing terrorists, you're for al-Qaeda. So the, kind of the, the reaching out the hand of, of peace while you're slapping somebody upside the head is not bipartisanship. Let, uh, and that's why you're not going to see any real movement. 30 let, let, seconds. Let me, let me just tell you something. The old guy in Alabama, Shelby or whatever his name is, voted against, he said, everything against the president, everything against the stimulus packet. And then when, when people get the stimulus pack, he's standing there with the check, chinning and grinning, holding up 80 appointments. Now, they're hypocritical is what it is. Yeah, none of that happened when, they, uh, when George Bush was in the White House no, and the Democrats no, no, were doing no. the same he thing. No, no, no. He didn't give them a stimulus packet that they could really go but home they and brag about. But they They wouldn't let people but come up to I'm vote. talking about getting people back to work. The stimulus and I'm talking about blocking people from people votes, which is what you just brought people back to work, up. which is the money that's building our roads and, and creating jobs. That's really what it's all about. But it hasn't it's created hypocritical. any jobs. That's it the has. bottom line. It, <laughs> it, it has In fictitious created. congressional no, districts no, and in non-existent zip codes. It has. We have to continue. Thelma Harper. Stu Gill, appreciate your insights. Stay with us. This way continues in a moment.